Smith's going to carry it. Smith cuts up and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! Hello again and welcome to Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Dave Christensen. It's all delivered by Union Wireless with national calling and... Don't forget about unlimited texting, Dave. That's exactly right, Coach. And I'll tell you what, you were exactly right on Saturday when the Wyoming Cowboys took care of the Weber State Wildcats. What a game. What a fantastic opener for the Pokes. You well, it was, a, it was a great finish. Uh, you know, we're, we're real proud of our football team uh, showing a lot of perseverance. Uh, you know, we talked about adversity. You know, it's going to strike sometime, and uh, how are you going to handle it? And uh, I think it showed character, a lot of character, uh, particularly for uh, you know our defense who had had some struggles to, to to stop them at the end, get the football back, and then for our young quarterback to take us on a two-minute drive to win the football game. Now there are so many big plays in this game. Why don't we take a look at some of the highlights? The Wyoming Cowboys' victory over the Weber State Wildcats. Well, this first play is uh, third and eight, and uh, you know Brett Smith does a great job uh, completing the ball to, to Alvester Alexander for a 43-yard uh, gain and a first down. You know, just a, a play that we'd put in uh, in training camp. We hit it a few times on the night. Here's first and ten. Uh, Brett Smith comes out, uh, completion to uh, Brandon Miller out of the backfield, another 28-yard gain, and, uh, and another first down, getting us down to the three-yard line, and then. Uh, Brett, uh, you know, finds a way to get in the end zone there off the play or after the uh, play fake, and uh, you know, just a, a tough run by him. This is Brandon Miller on nine-yard run off the zone play, and again, I thought Brandon ran extremely hard and uh, very physical. Uh, we give it to him again on uh, on a quick zone read, uh, second and one, and uh, he scampers for another ten yards. Then we come back on a counter play out of a power set and hand it to uh, Gali Muhammad and, and Gali takes it for 25 yards. And I thought our backs had ran hard uh, all day long. Uh, then we got uh, Alvester Alexander here on a, on a four yard uh, play out of power set for a touchdown. Uh, again, just a good powerful run by him. And then, uh, th then we get a takeaway here. Uh, they snap it over the punter's head. Gali Muhammad does a great job of taking the punter out. And, uh, Darren White picks it up and we get the ball inside the 10 yard line. Come right back, uh, throw a fade route to Mazi Agbana for the touchdown. And uh, again, just a, you know, a great uh, play on special forces. And then we come right back out in the first play offensively and uh, uh, throw it for a touchdown. And uh, Brett Smith here uh, uh, takes the ball, pulls it on a read, zone read play. Uh, they squeeze down the back and he, he rushes it for 13 yards. Then uh, comes back. They come with a corner blitz here, and uh, you know Brett kind of moves out of the pocket a little bit, finds Robert Haran, and uh, Robert takes it the distance for 45 yards and another Cowboy uh, touchdown. Big stop here uh, defensively uh, by Mark Willis. Uh, does a great job of penetrating and, and tackling their running back in the backfield for uh, a negative yard. Just a nice play there uh, uh, by Mark. And then uh, Brett Smith here uh, again off a of play action on the naked finds Robert Haran on a crossing route for 11 yards. Uh, again, another nice play. Uh, come back, uh, Brett uh, pulls it again on his own keep. Does a nice job of breaking tackles and, and running physical, you know, and the guy's bouncing off of him and uh, gains another 11 yards, another Cowboy first down. And comes back here, uh, finds Chris McNeil on a, on a tunnel screen, and uh, Chris does a nice job advancing the ball for 10 yards and gets us into a fourth and two. And uh, we come up just short here, uh, you know, Brett comes out, I thought we could have dumped to the flat, tries to make a play, and again, we're trying to come down at this point in time to win the football game, and, you know, phenomenal effort, we just, uh, we just come up a half a yard short, but uh, uh, thank goodness our defense comes back out, does a great job, stops them, and gives us a chance to uh, get back into uh, uh, our two-minute mode. And here we are with uh, our you know, sack, a nine-yard uh, loss, and, and it really backs them up, puts them in a fourth, gets them to a third and 25, then a fourth and 15. Then Brett Smith comes back and uh, rushes in a, uh, for eight yards, does a nice job getting out of bounds, stopping the clock, uh, does a nice job on this uh, entire drive. Uh, here is uh, a fourth down call, fourth and 11, and uh, uh, Brett does a nice job of finding Chris McNeil for 19 yards in the first down. Then we come right back here and uh, find Robert Haran on a corner route with 22 seconds to go to, to get the victory. Again, good protection up front, uh, great man route by Robert to the corner and a perfect throw uh, by Brett Smith. 
This last play uh, of the game coming up there, uh, trying to kick a 53-yard field goal, and uh, we've got pretty good pressure on them all day long. Ball's a little bit to the left uh, and short, and uh, the Cowboys get away with a victory. Welcome back, everybody, to Inside Cowboy Football. We're with uh, a couple of guys who mean an awful lot to this program, running backs Alvester Alexander, Gali Muhammad, and these guys, ironically, have been competing for the same position pretty much through spring ball and fall practice. And uh, they had both had great games last week. Best friends. And I want to ask both of you, is it difficult to compete? You're very competitive guys. Is it difficult to compete with your very best friend? Um, not at all, you know. Um, I think uh, it's better like that. You know, he makes me better, and uh, I'll make him better, you know, um, the drive and the competition. Now, when you guys uh, get home after practice or after the game, uh, Alvester, do you talk about uh, how it went that day? And, and uh, do you give each other a bad time about competing with one another? I mean, I don't think we give each other a bad time. I think we more like feed off of what each other doing. Like, if I'm doing something in practice and he'd be like, hey, you can do this. Or if I'd be like, okay, you can do this. And we just feed off because it it's more like brothers. And it's not like, okay, I'm competing for this spot. You compete for this spot. We both trying to make each other as best as we can because it's going to help this team out. So, I mean, we're always trying to help each other out with anything we can. Nothing better than a best friend. How did you guys become good friends? What was it uh, that you first hit it off? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess it was when we was in the dorms. I mean, a lot of people just went their ways and clicked with whoever they clicked with. And, I mean, we clicked because, I mean, he reminded me more of, like, my, my older brother. So, because, I mean, he had a lot of the characteristics that my older brother had. I mean, quiet sometimes, don't get mad a lot about a lot of things, and I was more like a hothead, I would get mad about more things, and I mean, we just clicked like that from then, and we've been friends ever since. Golly, uh, what, uh, when you're not playing football and you guys are together, what are some of your interests? Do you share a lot of the same interests? Uh, definitely, um, you know, from uh, down to music to the same games we play, you know, uh, whenever we're not uh, playing football, we're usually on Call of Duty, playing just relaxing and, uh, you know, just hanging out. What would be some of the things you like to do together? Probably uh, playing our game, being on Call of Duty, or uh, messing around, making uh, making songs on um, on GarageBand. You know, getting on the computer, joking around, rapping, <laughs> trying to sing. Well, he he really can sing, but is he a better singer than you? Oh, definitely. <laughs> he a rapper. I'm I'm a singer. He a rapper. What um, would you say is in terms of football? Your style of of running. Uh, how do you describe your style? And then I want to hear from Alvester how he describes his. Um, I, th I like running with power. You know, if a guy gets in my way, then I'm going to run him over. And um, <laughs> I've, I've always been like that. So, you know, I, I like running with power and just running guys over. And your style? I said I probably outrun more people, you know, because, I mean, I didn't got a lot more physical in my game, but ever since I was younger and little, I've been just a fast kid. So I would always use my speed and my ability to just get around people. But I said I just like to outrun boys. How much fun was it Saturday night uh, to not only play a night game, your opening game, but then come back and win the game as the Cowboys did, golly? Um, it was very exciting, you know. Um, coach was kept, kept, kept telling us this is, uh, this is the fun part right here, you know. We practiced that, um, the two-minute drill, um, and practiced probably at least two or three times in practice um, in all fall camp, literally. So, um, you know, whenever we were there, he, uh, it, it came natural for us, and he always told us that our practices are going to be um, easier than our uh, easier than the games, and uh, it felt like it. And uh, coming back, winning that game, you know, uh, it showed. Do you guys uh, cook for one another as roommates? I mean, we we do a little cooking here and there, but my mom came out this weekend, so she cooked up a lot of different foods for us. So we just been eating good. So <laughs> we do a little cooking ourselves. Like, you what's know, your what do what do you do? What's your favorite dish? Uh, Chicken Alfredo. Yeah, yeah chicken Alfredo. <laughs> I eat that four or five times a week. Um, would you say that uh, if you if you had uh, to do it over again, what position would you two play? I mean, I probably play the same position. I've been playing running back ever since I was a little kid. I mean, it's all I knew, and all I've been doing. So I mean, I probably keep it the same. Gala, you of course was on the defensive side. What would you do? Um. I'll probably go, I would have to say running back. You know, um, I was playing running back um, since I was younger also. So uh, that's always been one of the hardest, so running back. One last question for each of you. 
What is there something about Gali Muhammad that we don't know about that you'd like to tell us today? Um, something about Gali Muhammad? Uh, I don't know, besides just being a, you know, a laid back guy, cool with everyone, just, you know, friendly. I, that's it, I mean. How about you? Oh, I'll probably say some people don't know about me is that I probably, um, I'm into music. I like to play instruments, pianos, drums. I don't really matter. I mean, a lot of people don't know that. They probably think I'm just a football player, or what, but I mean, I, I've been doing music since I was little, so I'd probably say that. What surprised you about him as you got to know each other? What surprised me about him? Um, probably surprised me about him the first time I saw him really get into like an altercation with somebody, because like I told you, he like, more laid back, he let more things go. It just take a lot to get him angry, and somebody did it one day, and they, they didn't want to do that, so that probably be the most thing that surprised me. How about you with him? Um, how well he can sing, like you said, um, he's good with all instruments, and uh, he really is. Uh, you know, he's uh, talented, he's a talented musician. Golly, Alvester, thank you so much for being with us. Dave will be back with head coach Dave Christensen. Second and goal as Smith takes the snap in the shotgun. Looks to the corner. He's got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Robert Verron with the catch. And the Cowboys have taken the lead with 22 seconds to play. Welcome back to Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Dave Christensen. It's delivered by Union Wireless with Student Connect, and that means national calling and... Unlimited text messaging. <laughs> That's exactly Dave. right. That's exactly right. Well, the Cowboys got that big win opening night. Next up, another pretty talented team, I think. Uh, Texas State will be coming in 4 o'clock the kick uh, in War Memorial Stadium on Saturday. What about Texas State? Well, again, you know, they're, they're, everybody's got players in this day yeah. and age. And, uh, you know, they, they played uh, Texas Tech uh, very well. Uh, in fact, they led at halftime 9-10. to 10. Uh, came out in the second half. They turned the ball over uh, four times in the game and uh, uh, and gave Texas Tech some quick scores. Had they not turned the ball over, I think it would have been a much tighter ball game. Now, I know you're very excited about this game coming up. Uh, you get that big win. You've said many times teams usually make the most import, uh, improvement after game one leading to game two. It's going to be key that uh, you know we have a great week of preparation, a great week of practice, correct the mistakes. You know, it, it's not a crime to make a mistake if, if you can correct it. And, uh, you know, we just want to make sure that we go out, correct the things that we have to correct, and uh, uh, play to a much higher level next week. Uh, you bet. Four o'clock, the kickoff, the Cowboys and the Texas State Bobcats right there on Jonah Field at War Memorial Stadium. And we'll invite you back next time for Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Dave Christensen, delivered by Union Wireless with Student Connect, where you get national calling and... Unlimited text messaging. That's it. See you next time around. Smith looks for the corner. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Smith takes the snap at the shotgun. Looks to the corner. He's got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cash Bart left. The left footer, it's up, but it's not long enough, and it's no good. And the Cowboys have won it.